Hi guys, so today I'm gonna try on my Kinsa dress because I heard that my sister might not be able to come to my party because of the travel ban. Hey, I always thought that you would be here. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hey, Hello. Hey. I just want to call you because I really missed you and I just had like a really like sad conversation. Why? What happened? Well, like my party got postponed. Are you okay? Well, like I'm in like denial. Like I don't want to like accept that that happened, but there's nothing we can really do and it's like I'm happy that it's going to keep everyone safe. And have you guys decided to like pick another date or anything? We're thinking in May. Okay, well, hopefully by then everything's gonna be, you know, calm down and, you know, I'm still gonna be there. It doesn't matter the distance, I will make it happen. So, I don't want you to be too sad about this, okay? I have three sisters. I'm really close to my sister who lives in Japan because she was like a mom to me because we grew up together. How okay, was it okay. when it was like in Japan? I mean, it, everyone, everything got closed, so I'm sure that's what's happening over there. Um, but everything's gonna go back to normal because it's already starting to go back to normal here. Yeah. So I wanted to ask, like, why is Bessie not coming? Like, have you heard from her? I believe Bessie, my second daughter, she's not gonna come. She just, she's not financially ready for it. Adulting can be hard sometimes, but maybe now that the date is changing, she'll be able to come. Um, I really miss you. Like, I miss that you're not here to be planning the process with me, and it just really sucks. Because I always imagine you'd be here when I'm planning it. I know. Well, I wish I could be there too, but I'm just a phone call away. Like, any little thing, you can always just send me pictures or FaceTime me, and I'll try my best to give you my opinion on it. Don't let anything bring you down on your big day, okay? I won't. Hi guys, so I am going to be vlogging my day and like tell you guys how I feel about the whole virus and like my kings to getting pushed back and everything. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it because my kings was supposed to be not this weekend, but next weekend. Everything that I have, like my pillows, I'm gonna show you. So this is my pillow, it just says the, the date right here. My like copas of brindis and all that is gonna say that date because I don't want everything to have mixed up dates. And then we plan to have my 15 May 2nd, but then my party planner told me again that it's gonna get pushed back like because everything has to be closed for eight weeks instead of four, I think. So now it might not even be till June. And I'm just sad that this whole thing is going around. And I hope everyone stays safe. Like all your families are safe and everything's just okay and it doesn't affect you too much. It just sucks, especially because a lot of my family that doesn't live here already bought their plane tickets and stuff and they just have to reschedule all that. Like my sister from Japan, she was supposed to come today. Wow, I would have seen her today. But Obviously, it got pushed back. And either way, they're probably, they weren't gonna let her come because of how bad it's gotten. And I'm just more scared about the virus because I have asthma. Um, <laughs> I have asthma and I don't have any inhalers right now because I was supposed to go to the doctors and get a new inhaler. I never had the t chance to go get a new one. And now all this is happening and it's just scary because I don't have an inhaler. I know a lot of other girls are going through the same thing, especially because I watch a lot of TikToks and like a lot of them on my career page is like, oh, what I would be doing right now. And it's like, they're 15 and I'm like, me too, me too. I'm still in shock. I still haven't came to the like realization, like I'm not accepting it yet. And I probably won't accept it till the day of my 15 was supposed to be. And I'm probably just gonna cry. <laughs> a lot that day i know everything is going to go well and everything happens for a reason today it, 
I woke up and I cleaned my bathroom in the kitchen because I just wanted to help my mom out, especially because like my mom is going through a lot right now because her dad just died, my grandpa just passed away, and it really hurt her and her her siblings, especially because he passed away in El Salvador, and especially everything going on, like they weren't able to go visit him or go to the funeral, which is really really sad. Like it sucks. My mom was so close to her dad. And now she just, she, they didn't get to see him. My mom got some tricky ground beef. And obviously not a lot. So I got bread yesterday. So I'm just gonna make like a sandwich, turkey ground beef sandwich with hot dogs or something. So I'm just gonna chop up some hot dogs right now. And then cook them. And, yeah. and so during quarantine, I usually just try to clean my room and keep it tidy and then I just I try to do my homework but let's just let's just be real right now I'm usually mostly on TikTok TikTok took over my life so I finished I made hot dogs like a sandwich with cheese and like ground beef and pepperoni I've been really liking to cook so I just like to cook dinner for my dad, so he has a hot meal to come home to. And then I just cook myself. <laughs> but I'm done done eating. I'm probably gonna do some homework. And yeah. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna talk to my parents about my party getting postponed for the first time. And I just hope we're all in the same boat. And if we're not, we don't clash heads too much. And I just want to see what their headspace is like and what they're thinking about. And I hope we all come to an agreement at the end of the day. So I just want to let you guys know and I will update you guys later. Bye. Okay. What do we have to do now that the party got canceled and it got postponed? Is there a lot of things we still have to do with the checklist? Hablé con Maria, la party planner, y ella dijo que se encargaría de de los otros personas, de fotógrafo, la limusina, todo eso, ella se va a encargar de, ya se está encargando de cancelarla también. Y nosotros, este, vamos a tener que hacer algo con las invitaciones porque se enviaron. Lo primero que hay que hacer, tú haz la lista de las personas que le mandaste invitaciones y mandarles un texto o les hablas por teléfono. Entonces, de local, pues vamos a ver que ellos se reúnen a fines del mes para decidir cuándo lo que va a estar disponible de nuevo para hacer la nueva fecha. Para el día y lo demás, yo ya hablé con él y no hay ningún problema. So, ahí estamos bien. So, ya que tenemos cómo se está la situación en control, vamos a ver la nueva fecha y vamos a, a, a dar un recordatorio a todos. Oh, me parece perfecto a mí este, de que se manden a hacer otras tarjetitas simples nada más para reenviarlas ¿qué les parece? Sí, es buena idea porque es este, exactamente la fecha no sabemos ya que se, tengamos más información vamos a, a decidir qué clase qué vamos a hacer ahí you guys already contacted everyone? So that's ah, yo, yo los que yo he invitado y les, ya les texté que pues esperen Nuevo aviso, nueva fecha, no se sabe si mayo o junio o julio, pues lo que Dios diga. Mm -hmm. That's good. We're lucky that Maria is helping us with everything. She took the responsibility to help us and tell them that everything got canceled for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that it is in June because I'd rather wait than have it now. Perfecto. Eso es buena idea. Pero que la fiesta se va a hacer, porque pues ya, ya sea tarde. hoy o sea otro día. Pero la fecha es lo único que no, no lo sabemos ¿no? más para adelante. Más para adelante. Okay. Hi guys, so today is an exciting day. I'm going to try on my quince dress for the first time since I picked it out. Because I heard that my sister might not be able to come to my party because of the travel ban with the military. So I just want to FaceTime her and surprise her and try on my dress and show her my dress for the first time. So I can get her input on my dress and see what she thinks. So I changed into my dress. So 
I'm gonna have my dad record now to show you guys the dress. So this is my dress. I picked out, I got my dress from Moda. So now I'm gonna surprise my sister and call her. So we can see what her reaction is to my pizza dress. Hey. Hi, so I wanted to call you and show you my dress. Wow. This is my dress. I love it. Where did you get it from? I got it from Moda 2000. And what made you choose yellow? Well, because of my Beauty and the Beast theme, I thought a yellow dress would be appropriate. You're lucky that mom let you pick yellow because you know pink is a traditional color for us. Yeah, I know. It was hard to convince her, but I got her there. And I'm grateful that she let me pick my yellow dress. I'm sure she was pretty emotional about that. <laughs> she was. When we first talked about it, she started crying. And then she made me cry because I felt so bad. Yeah. Well, I guess you just got lucky being the last child in the family. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel about me getting a yellow dress? Well, I'm a little jealous because I didn't want pink, but mine's already packed, so at least you gotta pick what you wanted, and it's really beautiful, so I like it. So I wanted to show you because I heard about the travel ban in the military right now. Yeah, hopefully, you know, things get better soon, and they'll be able to lift that up and, you know, let me travel so that I can go to your jeans hit, but... For now, I'm kind of just stuck out here. <laughs> but I appreciate you showing me your dress. <laughs> of course, I was sad you weren't gonna, you weren't there to help me pick it out. I know, I was really bummed out too. I always <laughs> thought that you would be here to help me plan my game for it. Well, just know eventually we'll be able to celebrate, and then I will, will be so excited to see your dress in person. Because right now it just looks stunning, so I can't wait. It's kind of like a blessing in disguise that it got postponed because so imagine it did happen and you weren't been able to come either way. Yeah, it would have been really sad and super, you know, disappointing. You probably would have cried too. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, with time, everything's going to go back to normal and me and the baby and Dorian will be able to come and we'll be able to celebrate you and just have a good time. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thank you for showing me your dress. I have to get back. I miss you so much, and I really appreciate you giving me a call. I miss you too, and I just obviously just wanted to surprise you. And I hope you stay safe. I love you. Well, I love you too, and I'll keep you updated, and you know, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, bye. All right, all right. bye, I love you. Thanks for watching my episodes. Make sure to click the boxes down below to watch more episodes. Comment down below what you're most excited about for my quinceanera. And make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, my dream quinceanera. Bye. <laughs>